cat just, food with that. Just add some vodka, add some whiskey, that, and more diversity that's, there. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Right. Uh, speaking of terrible, terrible drinks, music is cool. <laughs> yeah, <right>? exactly. We <laughs> never talked about the yeah. music. Yeah. The trends, yeah. <laughs> no, um, so, so uh, Kevin, you haven't met Ross. He's a huge fucking pain in the ass. I, okay. Uh, everybody loves how much he drives me nuts. He um he gets super, like not like no he's a cool guy to chill with. He's funny, but the more he drinks, he gets so fucking emotional, so emotional. I don't. I still don't believe that he made out with that. I think he was like making out with anybody next to that girl that he keeps talking about. I don't I'm just know. thinking it was that girl because he just gets emotional with anybody. Do you think he's talked to her? No, actually, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get her Facebook and and arrange that where. We're gonna get him laid on the podcast for the first time. I l- yeah yeah that's no that's still we, that's still on the that's the, the plan. Top is, is, is it on the list? Not for today. Okay, well, I mean, just put it on the list always as yeah. like a project we're working yeah. on. Uh, this podcast has a higher purpose. Mm-hmm. It's not just mindless entertainment. We're here to improve ourselves in the world around us. And Kevin, I think you've picked up on that. Not at all. That it's very very mindful. We're very uh. aware, and we're gonna get Ross laid and. It's going to be beautiful. Tribute to the love of our of us for France. You know? That's right. Yes. So if we're getting him laid, like how expensive of a hooker are we going to buy for him? I oh. mean, I mean, you can skimp out on the hooker and just spend just buy a little penicillin after it. The r- there yeah. you go. You got to work the numbers. Exactly. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I don't know the way the if it's hourly or like salary, because right. if she can make fit in, you know, if Ross it's his first time. She might be able to make some like sandwiches afterwards. That's true, you know, exactly. With the time left over. Well, is it like when you buy it? When you buy hours in bulk, do, do they somehow cut a deal after after a little bit? Oh, that's a good question. That Costco yeah. of hookers, right? <laughs> right. And here's actually here's actually a question: Do you tip a prostitute? Hmm. I think so. It's that, a service. Well, France doesn't tip. <laughs> so, all right, uh, this <laughs> anti-French rhetoric. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle Laurent. Is French and he's a very nice man. Okay, and yeah, it's probably all the Frenchmen. Yeah, no, actually, I wouldn't mind going to France if it wasn't all those French people there. Well, yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Yeah, I kind of have a, a problem with the country that doesn't believe in antiperspirant. Mm. Is that a thing? They don't believe in antiperspirant. They don't. Yeah, they, they don't have the order. It's in. It's in their constitution. Do they shave their armpits? Uh, not, not, not most of the women I've heard. Hmm. Mm. Phil, how does it make you feel? Um, I don't know. It makes, it makes me feel very feminine because I shave mine. Right. Does that meet Playboy's high standards? Maybe. Interesting. That, that's Maybe. one of those Playboy moments where you get nightmares. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Watching you shave your armpits. Yeah. Yeah. Man. But I yeah, mean, I, I was um, I, I w- like Behemoth is coming. Behemoth was like one of the only bands I wanted to see at Slayer, and now they're coming to House of Blues. Mm-hmm. And tickets I knew, are like fucking forty five fifty. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I made I, I told say nothing to come with me mm-hmm. because I wanted some way to get out of going with Ross. Sure. To be honest, you know, whatever. We all have those one kind of friends. Yeah. Yeah. I ca- and so like I um, the funny thing is like the whole time I was fucking around because because I like to bust balls with Ross and he just kept believing everything so I just kept going, you know. He's like, oh, why why can't I go with you? I'm like, well, John, um, he drives a Ferrari, and there's no trunks in those, so it's a two person. Like, oh, okay, well. I can. T- I mean, can, can we still go together? I'm like, well, I I told him I'm going with him, and you know, he's going through some stuff like you know that stuff where you like need to see Behemoth with only one other person. Yeah, <laughs> you know? no, I understand. Yeah, very specific stuff. <clears throat> and um, I ended up telling him. I don't know if you know about this. Like, there's a shitload of like, uh, black metal bands getting shut down by like Antifa and shit. No, I don't think I've, yeah. think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, they're getting a shit. Uh, and 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 like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm not. G- I'm not nuts about the whole political thing, but I don't want to fucking like. I think if you, if you don't like a show, just don't fucking go to it. Exactly. Don't protest it. You know. So I, um, because it happened to me. I I was going to a show and, and they like emailed me. Oh no, these tickets aren't valid because they got canceled because of a fucking protest. But anyways, um, so I told Ross, uh, because well, we got to explain this. So because I, uh, Ross likes to be not only um emotional but obnoxious and sometimes racist when he's drunk always racist i've got a friend like that yeah yeah it's 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 not in a good sight especially do you, uh you ever listen to dead kennedys uh a little bit here and there yeah 
uh you know you know how sarcastic and and he's like i fucking love him he's great uh jello is the singer yeah well, we went to go see um, his solo band a few years ago called uh, Jello and the Guantanamo School Bay uh, School of Medicine or something, and we're like front row, and and I'm like, oh, we're totally gonna meet him after because I meet like every band. I have some luck after the show. Yeah. So he sees us like front row, and this is like while Obama's in office, and there's all these rumors about oh, like the next candidate, like this is like right when Trump started like campaigning. Yeah. And talking about the whole wall shit. So Jello's on stage, like he's taking like a five minute break, talking about how, oh yeah, let's build a wall for all the Mexicans, cause that's gonna work. And Ross is like right behind, me, yeah, fuck the Mexicans, like <laughs> thinking that he's being serious. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, fucking Christ, we're getting out of here. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh my god! And there's no way we're gonna meet him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so, and, and uh, anyways, so um, I told him that uh, I actually personally emailed. Like, cause, cause he keeps trying to go to with me to Behemoth. I told him, I'm like, well, uh, I emailed Behemoth, and I'm like, you know, cause they're Polish, so I, I even wrote in Polish to sort of have a better connection. I have a friend who's known to be very anti-Semitic, and he likes to scream "fuck the Mexicans" at shows. Is that okay that I take him near a show? And they responded that, uh, no, no, we definitely have him on our list as he is prohibited on the grounds and has to stay a mile away. And uh, yeah, Ross fell for it. <laughs> so so is he convinced? Yeah, he's convinced. I I I was telling I was telling say nothing like, "Yo dude, I'm totally going to like, you know, forge a PDF of the email." And sure. he's like, "He's not going to believe that. That's it's so easy." And he I didn't even need to do the PDF. I mean, my next step he, was uh Kelly, Kelly told me to just stop right there cuz it's mean, but I mean, I just wanted to keep going cuz I was going to tell him that, "Oh, we got VIP tickets to the where there's a Jesus piñata party with Behemoth." <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta love gullible people. Yeah. yeah, and 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 he and he and I told him that, but he te- he's like, yeah, prove it. And I was just too lazy to make the PDF of a <laughs> Jesus pinata party with Behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> so is that when the joke stopped when he questioned it? Yeah, yeah, that's where it stopped. So are you gonna go to the show with him? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Hon- honestly, that's the biggest pain in the ass. Hmm. Like carrying him wasted to the fucking car and like sure. trying to have him catch up. Oh, he's always one of those guys who just. Is constantly wasted, or just, yeah, yeah. That's that's my friend Chris. Yeah, sounds yeah. like a cool dude. Yeah, he's he, like you. I don't like drinking with him as much, but you never know what you're gonna get with him. Yeah, like they say, there are like you know three like pretty much solid emotions when you're when you're drinking. Either yeah, happy, sad, angry, or a fourth one, violent. He's all four of them. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. There's this one time he was drinking. Where he was drinking pretty much a half a bottle of Jose Cuervo, and he passes out in his kitchen right by his basement stairs. I tell him, "Hey, man, you gotta move. You're gonna you're gonna fall down your stairs." He's like, "Oh, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit." So I kept. So, so this I, is happy. He's happy drunk now. I would say, in, in, by comparison, yes. Okay. <laughs> he just got done being angry, and so I I ended up dragging him away from his stairs so he doesn't fall and break his fucking neck. Mm-hmm. And he gets up, ready to punch me, and he, I I point to where he was laying. And he's like, "I was right by the stairs. I would have fallen." And you moved me, and I was right by the stairs. I could have fallen. You would have, and you moved me, repeating this at least four or five times. Then he just proceeds to cry on my shoulder, saying, "You're my best friend." Sad, drunk. giving me a hug, and then two seconds after that, he says, "Okay, Kevin, I'm gonna teach you how to fight now." <laughs> yeah. So he's back to happy drunk. Exactly. It's just happy like violent. I guess he, more or less manic depressant drunk. I guess. Sure. Yeah. Well, does he like metal? Would he maybe want to go to Behemoth? He fucking loves metal, actually. Oh my God, those Phil. metal fucking drunks, man! Can we? Yeah. I think the two of them, Ross at his side, you know, wingman, find some vampire chicks. Uh, is yeah. This are you thinking what I'm thinking? What makeout session? Yeah, dude, right now, let's go. No, I mean like, oh. I didn't realize it was that kind of podcast. Yeah, what the? Uh, sorry, I brush my teeth this we're, morning, then. We're right. We're just trying to meet those high Playboy standards, dude. Speaking, <laughs> dude. That just reminded me that speaking of that would rather stuff. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, dude! Yesterday we played Bean Boozled. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever played that? I've heard of it. Never actually played. Oh my god, it was so bad because I got a bag where I got all the shitty ones, Ugh. every single one. Where like the white one was either. So for anybody listening, Bean Boozled is it's a jelly bean sponsored game you get a bunch of jelly bean bags and then you spin on which one you get and you have to guess which one it is and it's like different colors so you have a little spinner 
Yeah. And it lands on a color. And if it's white, it's either a coconut. Or spoiled milk. Or spoiled milk. Ew. And I got every single bad one. Coconut, I got the spoiled milk. Then there's like pink with red spots on it. You either get like tutti frutti or barf. I got the barf. And then like green was supposed to be like lime or minion fart. <laughs> I got minion fart. You know, like every single fucking what, one. So want to go shopping at the Jelly Belly thing and just get all the joke ones? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even like jelly beans, so it made it even worse. <laughs> like, and th- I think the and then there was a what was it? Brown one was chocolate or dog food can. At least it wasn't shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I wish they would step over that line. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Ye- yeast vagina bread or you know. You know, um, Cards Against Humanity a while ago, they were saying send us ten dollars and we'll send you nothing. And they sent the people who actually sent them ten dollars got a box literally full of nothing. <laughs> oh, nice! Yeah, they did the same thing. Like the next year, send us like fifteen dollars, and we'll send you a piece of shit. Everyone yeah. got a dehydrated piece of uh, bullshit. Really? Yeah. I would rather oh. get that than Open. like than like I I had a friend that I work with who would make these fucking paintings where he just splats brown on it. And he's like, yeah, this one's called "I'm Not Over the Breakup." <laughs> yeah. Does he sound like that? Yeah, uh, he, he's awesome. exactly like that, and and then and and then you know another one, a different splat in a different corner. She's still obsessed with me. That's what this one's called, you know. <laughs> and like, people would buy this shit for fucking like thirty dollars. Yeah, and he's offering it to me. He's like, "Do you think I should make some, you know, because of how like morbid it looks?" I'm like, "Well, it looks like fucking diarrhea." <laughs> he's like, "Well, well, anyways, do you think this would be like good for a back patch?" Can, can I use your Can I use your code as for? I'm like, if you safety pin it on, I don't want like diarrhea on my back. You know, like right, all every fucking time. Like, and he and he and he made like fourteen grand. Wow, with this shit. I'm like, why haven't you bought in a car yet? <laughs> but I would think that would be make me depressed. That's what this next one's called. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but I would personally, I would think that would be a sentence that you would never have to say. I don't want diarrhea on my back. Yeah, yeah. That's right? one of those sentences I never, ever want to say outside of this situation again. We probably have said it when we were like four. Right? Probably. I mean, like when that when it starts going up the diaper. <laughs> well, if you were still in a diaper at the age of four, then. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you deserve we, di- diarrhea on your back. You, yeah, you weren't. No, I don't want to admit that on, on a podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me neither. Uh, so yeah. many constituents out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you guys talking about? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I never, never wore diapers. Diapers exactly. are lame. Well, except for Huggies. This that's episode? Spo- yeah, it's our sponsor, right? Brought to you by Huggies. Exactly. Fuck See. Pampers. <laughs>